When you're committed to winning the long game, you realize that there is a very fine line between resilience and denial. Winning the long game is a journey, and a journey about resilience and purpose. With purpose, with consistency, you just start to think it's possible and that you can do it. You start feeling that, believing that, everything changes. Now the ability to stay focused on the long game, on the long-term goal, understanding step backs are not always setbacks. Those bumps in the roads, those obstacles, because of them all, we learned so much throughout the journey to the top of Mount Everest. We were a lot more ready, much better prepared, much better equipped. And all those failures are exactly what created a massive amount of success for the big one. When I was 22 years old, diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. It forced me to go within, to see what I was made of. A key part of resilience is to be able to pay attention to what is urgent and what is important. Now, the danger here, everything feels urgent and what is important can always be pushed back to next week, to next month, to next year. And this is how individuals and organizations fall behind. And this is what my journey is all about. First of all, a first step, and then one step at a time with consistency, with leadership, with purpose and commitment. You change the story, you change the beliefs, you give yourself permission to succeed, and then everything becomes possible. When I ran across the country, a marathon a day for nine months, I had very tough days but it never entered my mind to stop because of purpose. Motivation, engagement, that's actually not what we do when we have a bad day. Our motivation is our purpose. The reason why, that will always be the ultimate fuel, the secret weapon to win the long game.